Hey YouTube, it's Sharice here again and I'm back with another video and I want to feature a product that I talked about in my stash video, shop your own stash, find hidden gems in your makeup collection. And this is the Makeover Essentials little palette that has like bronzer, it has some highlighters in it, um, and it has some really nice eyeshadows. So I used the um, highlighters and bronzers as highlighters today on my face and I used the blush that comes with the palette. On my face so that's what's on my face right now and actually has a really nice glow to it and the blush the blush is man it's okay but I'm loving the highlighters that come in here so we're gonna do an eye look but first let me show you the highlighters that I use there we go so I used a mixture mixture of this highlighter right here and this bronzer right here to highlight with and then I wore I have on this blush right here so that's what those look like nice and shimmery decent quality especially the highlighters they look really really good gave me a really nice soft glow that I'm loving let's go on to the eyeshadow part these are the eyeshadow colors beautiful neutrals perfect for every day perfect for a professional neutral look so let's get started. I'm going to start with the matte chocolate brown in this palette right over here in this corner. I'm going to apply that in my crease using a Coastal Scents fluffy brush. And it has nice mirrors in this palette too. I'm just going to go ahead and start applying that to my crease. One of my ex-boyfriends got me this palette. Shout out to Thomas. <laughs> I'm just applying this right into the socket of my eye. I have some green and white tea I'm drinking. It's really good actually like so and I'm not gonna bring it all the way in I'm kind of stopping three-quarters of the way into the crease as you can see and I'm really blending it out but yeah this tea is so good If you're wondering what foundation I'm wearing, I'm wearing the L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible Foundation in Cocoa 112. I'm going to kind of show you guys things as I'm doing this eye look. In the shade Cocoa 112. It's almost empty and I just kind of want to use it up. I'm actually too dark for this foundation now so I had to deepen it up with powders and stuff. That's basically all my foundations. I then went in and set it with the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Airbrush Foundation. This is a powder foundation in the shade Rich Sand. I use that to set my entire face. And I really like it as a setting powder. I haven't tried it again as a powder foundation, not recently. Then I decided to go in and Deepen up my face even more with the Black Radiance Pressed Powder and Rich Mahogany, which you guys know I used to contour with this, but now it's a good skin tone color for me. A good uh, all over face powder, so that's that. I mean, you guys already know the deal. My brows are Wet n Wild pencils, and the highlights are from this palette that I just showed you. So that's all I have on my face now, and we're working on the eyes. Still blending this deep brown into the crease. You know how I used to get nauseated uh, like last year where I'm just kind of starting to feel sick? I'm kind of getting that feeling right now where I just feel a little sick like I need to stop and breathe. Man, I hope this doesn't become a trend. And I think it's because I'm taking my vitamins in the morning on an empty stomach. I think that's what's like, that's what's making me feel sick this time, today specifically. So 
So I'm going to try and finish this eye look before I have to like take a break and like just breathe. Lighting. It's all over the place. All right. So that's what we have so far. Next, I'm gonna go on with this. Which one do I wanna use? They're all so pretty. I'm gonna go on with this shade right here. This kind of rolls goldy bronzy color right there. And I'm gonna apply that to my lid using another Coastal Sense brush. This color is so pretty. And that's, that's actually the one I've used the most of. Ooh yeah, that's nice. It's a nice shine. They're really soft, really easy to blend. Great color payoff. That's beautiful. I wish y'all could see it better. I'm just applying this all over my lid and I'm blending it out. Y'all can't even see how actually how pretty it is. Yeah, this camera's not doing it justice, but I do really love the shadows in here. In this little palette, they are great. Let's say tonight's our first football game, so I have a super long day today. Um, one of my students is supposed to be bringing me a junior bacon cheeseburger, so. <sighs> Which is really funny. Okay, so last March and Band season, uh, I think it was like a competition day, or I think it was a game or something, but anyways, there were some boys in the band that were at Wendy's. And I like had one of the students that was at the school text the boys that were at Wendy's to tell them to bring me something and I would give them the money because I was hungry. But they decided that they were just not going to get me what I wanted. So I'm like waiting on them to bring me this food. And when they come in, they have their bags and stuff. And I'm like, where's mine? And they were like, we didn't get you anything. I was like, did you not get so-and-so's text message telling y'all to bring me something? I have the money right here. And they were like, oh... We just, uh, we were in a rush. They were like making all these excuses. And I was like, okay, well, I'm going to be bothering you until you graduate for you to bring me a junior bacon cheeseburger. So tonight, supposedly, he going to bring me a junior bacon cheeseburger. <laughs> it's so funny because every time I see him, I'm like, where's my junior bacon cheeseburger? And he's like, I told you the first game. I'm going to bring it at the first, uh... The first football game, Miss Ishman. It's so funny. All right, so I'm just going in and blending the crease some more. Now I'm going to go on with a little bit more of the lid color. Doing a little bit of back and forth, back and forth. So that's how that's looking. Now I'm just going to take that same color that I just put on the lid with a smaller brush. Actually, no. Let's take this color right here. 
this shimmery medium tone brown down here. And I'm gonna put that on my bottom lash line using this brush. And like I thought, it's not really showing up, but it is giving a little bit of nice shimmer down there. Which is nice. I don't like to leave my bottom lash line completely bare, but I don't like to put like black eyeliner on it or anything. I actually don't really like eyeliner, period, on myself. With this same brush, I'm also going to highlight my inner corners with another shadow from this palette. I have a feeling I'm going to be cold tonight at the first football game. I remember last year, I think after the second game, I started to get cold halfway through the game and need like a blanket because I'm so cold natured. I'm loving my puff today. It's on fleek. It's nice and big, which is what I want. Okay. Now it's time to highlight my inner corners. I'm going to use the same brush. And I'm gonna go on with this light shimmery shade down here in the corner. See how pretty that is right there, this one. Using the same brush, I'm just gonna apply that to the inner corners of my eyes. Do y'all see the difference that it makes how it just opens up the eyes? I have not talked to my best friend Hannah in a little while. We were talking about two or three times a week, but then she started getting more crazy hours at her architect job, and I just have been crazy tired with my marching band, modeling, student teaching jobs. Even though student teaching is a job, but y'all y'all get the drift. So I just haven't talked to her in a while. It feels strange. I also haven't talked to my friend Phil who always would call me while I'm doing tutorials and I'd have to call him back. I need to check up on him. All right, so that's it for the eyes using this palette. You'll see me use it a lot more because I really do love the uh, shadows in here. And the highlighters are pretty great too. But yeah, I'm gonna go on to the lips. I'm just gonna add mascara. For lips today, I'm gonna be wearing um, MAC polished up it's one of their luster lipsticks so it has a nice shine to it. it's very moisturizing as you can see i've almost used up the whole thing look at that that's all i have left a little nub and that's what that looks like just like a nice medium brownish pink. You know, something that's good with my deeper skin tone. I just really like this because it's really moisturizing. It's got some shine to it, so it's not, um, I don't know, I just feel like it's great for school. Like, just the perfect teacher color, which is the reason I bought it in the first place. So, yeah, this concludes the tutorial. The mascara I'm going to wear is going to be the L'Oreal Miss Manga voluminous the waterproof one because I don't know my eyes have been very watery lately I don't know so yeah so that concludes this tutorial I hope you guys enjoy this look I'm going to turn the lighting a little bit so you can see the eyes a little better it's really simple really easy look featuring that little palette Getting some different lighting situations. Alright, well I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye YouTube!